and welcome to another installment of the Squadcast. Yes, where we get together <laughs> weekly to talk all things nerdy in the gaming verse. Uh, I'm Camille, joined with Caboose and Rad Puppy. Plus, we got a very special guest today. We have Malik Shelp, who is a contributor on our website, squadstate.com. So you got to check that out if you haven't. How is everyone doing today? Really good. Really good. Yeah? Really good. Excited. All right. I know we're oh, all nice. really excited, but hold your excitement, <laughs> Caboose, because we got news. We'll talk about it, but I just wanted to say what up, chat. <laughs> I, I see Meg Megalino's in chat. We got it going here. Uh, but before we get into all the topics today, let me just talk about what we'll be talking about. So we're going to talk about the Avengers game updates. We're also going to be talking about the rise of gaming IPs as TV series, plus uh, Ninja's go into Hollywood, and why Xbox Game Pass might be Microsoft's saving grace. So that's what we're going to get yes. covered today, chat. If you guys have any input or any questions you have um, about those topics, start thinking about them. When we dive into them, let your voice be heard. Uh, how is everyone's <laughs> weekend today, or this weekend? It's a holiday for us Canadians right now, so I'm kind of semi in holiday mode. Wait, what's the holiday? I, to I yeah. totally knew that. <laughs> 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 yeah, what's the holiday it's it's august 1st it's a civic holiday um we just get it off i think it's like the emancipation from the british i think that's what we're celebrating but it's a holiday right, where okay. everyone gets well most people get it off today you didn't know that caboose you're kidding, yeah i what? i what? took the day what? off i just um yeah <laughs> the <day> off. <laughs> yeah I, what, oh my gosh what Jeez. a great uh, holiday that i knew about <laughs> See, Caboose, what you didn't realize before you joined in with us uh, while we were doing our tech uh, run before this, I actually was talking to Malik and Jason, our producer behind the scenes, who um, we were talking about Americans because obviously Alex and Malik, they're Americans. And I was like, I'm going to be the only Canadian yeah. forgetting Caboose, you're Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> it was horrible because... Um, I see Caboose all the time, like at events and everything. So like, I know he's Canadian. I have the visual of him being here, but it's because you make comments like that where you forget it's a holiday that makes me believe you're American. Are you a spy? Are you a spy? Is this, what? Spy. Are you an American spy? Yeah. I, I bet he doesn't you, even you, like you Tim you tell, you tell somebody something in confidence <laughs> and then they put you on black, live on stream. I'm <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, you know what? I love all American and Canadians, so it, it doesn't matter if you're an American spy. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, Megalina, no, I will not go home. Are you already Mo home? I am. I, I, yeah, I am actually <laughs> home. <laughs> so, Alex, thank you for pointing that out. Uh, <laughs> chat is loving this right now. There they're, was they're an having, attempt. They're having a blast. But uh, you know what? Let's not wait anymore let's get right into the topics caboose why don't you kick it off because i know the first one got you really excited because we just got an update on this okay so like at 1 p.m okay let, let's let's go back <laughs> at the dawn of time no um <laughs> let's go back to july <laughs> no, <okay. Yeah>. so, <laughs> <it's met. laughs> so, so a couple of days ago there was this uk retailer that uh is fairly unknown the to put it lightly not really like you know they're not like game uk or anything like that or, or like whatever game stops equivalent is in the uk they're just it's just some random uk retailer they were like hey if you get spider-man on the playstation or if you get avengers on the playstation 4 spider-man is going to be a playable character and it started like their speculation started and everyone's going a little crazy and some people were telling me about it and were like yo are you going to talk about this and i was like Man, come on, guys. First of all, like random UK retailer. And really, you think they got the exclusive? Yeah, okay. Um, second of all, I just I didn't see it happening. I was like, this is a pipe dream. Spider-Man being yeah. in the Avengers game is a pipe dream. Insomniac's making the Spider-Man games. They got Miles Morales coming out later this year. I just I didn't see it being a thing. And I also thought, you know, if they were to put Spider-Man in the game in Marvel's Avengers, it would have to be a different Spider-Man because the devs yes. working on the game have already said like these two games are not connected. So then if it were to be another Spider-Man, I feel like that would be a little confusing for consumers, two different versions of Spider-Man in games, but 
Well, uh, <laughs> PlayStation, we <laughs> PlayStation today, just two hours ago to when we started this podcast, was like, yep, no, yeah, Spider-Man's exclusive to PlayStation, and he's going to be a DLC character in Marvel's Avengers. They put out a blog post where they talked a lot about, like, the fact that it's like a dream come true for them. He's going to be dropping early 2021. Uh, he will be free, like, as a free DLC character. But yes, the catch is... It's a character exclusive to the PlayStation. Uh, not necessarily just the PlayStation 4, because the game is coming to next-gen console, so he will be available on the PS5 as well. Um, but the nevertheless, not a character the entire coming to Xbox Gate demo. as far as I know. I hope it's in time exclusive, of of events that led but it to doesn't the look disaster. like that's going to be the case. And honestly, I've talked a lot about this. I've talked a lot about my thoughts on Spider-Man PS4 plays, and the fact that and how you know, Spider-Man is universal work. one of, if not the biggest, single IP We built the Golden the Gate Bridge sequence like, to be this ever. roller coaster you know, maybe like him, experience. Batman, and Superman. With huge are like, set pieces. Wherever you walked on the streets and said, hey, you know Spider-Man? Someone will know. And a task like they master boss you know? It's and to also me, I thought, you know, many of each of the heroes' out, special It was a little unfair that a game as cool as that, and, and as well games. made as that, was locked to just one console. Yeah. Um, From there, the beta starts and to open up just like the And at the end of the day, the I got over does. it, kind of. I figured, okay, Giving well, you know what? Sony paid for the hero rights. Missions, that's, and eventually that's, that's, that it is what player, it is. Or right? I'm sure Xbox, if they wanted to, they maybe had an opportunity there if they wanted to to try and get a hold of that. But they said, hey, you do your thing, Sony. That's all you. And I wonder if the same case is with this, but I feel like this stings a little more because it's a multi-platform game. You know, like Avengers is going to be on Xbox. It's going to be on PC. It's going to be on Stadia, although like three people are going to play it there. It's going to be like, it's, it's going to be available everywhere. Um, and so to have a character, an IP as big as Spider-Man coming to just one platform uh, it's a bit of a bummer, and it also almost confirms to me that they just probably aren't going to implement crossplay into the game, which is another bummer for me because I thought that that was like almost a certified thing. But mm. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Well, okay, firstly, Caboose. Yeah. How is it that you thought Spider Man would not be a thing in the Avengers game when they kind of teased <laughs> it at War Table with the swinging of Black okay, Widow okay. and <laughs> come on, come on, Kamala. So, so come I on, said, Kaboos. okay. So when I was reacting to the war table, I said the same thing. When they showed Kamala Khan swinging on on street lights, and they showed like that Black Widow has the same thing, I was like, hold yeah, on, her grapple. Oh, yeah, like, you, you know who else does swinging? Uh, so, <laughs> so like, so I thought that that was gonna be like, I thought that that was a bit of a tease. But again, I just thought like. How would they do it? How would they put well, Spider-Man in this game? Having a Spider-Man game already coming out, having Spider-Man PS4, wouldn't it be confusing? No, like, it's not confusing at all. Because when they created this game, right? You uh -huh. know, for all those Marvel nerds like Caboose and I, like when yeah. they created this game, they made it known that they weren't going to use any of the facial designs of any of the already like the yes. uh, MCU. They weren't going to use any of the celebrities for their designs for their characters. So it kind of makes sense that. That, that kind of opened the door for them to say, okay, yeah, we can use Spider-Man because we're already establishing that this is separate from all the other properties out there. And they're using inspiration from all these different versions of the comic book um, drawings yes. of these characters, right? So I can think it completely makes sense. In terms of the exclusive like the exclusive side of this whole story with Spider-Man only being available for PlayStation users, well, I say suck it, okay? Because... This is the thing. Okay, this is the thing, okay? You're going to you're going to get some heat in no, your mentions. No, listen, for that I com <laughs> I completely understand why people will want Spider-Man. I am not I'm not arguing that. It sucks that they won't be getting Spider-Man. I completely feel for those people. I don't know, you also problem, just said suck it. <laughs> because because <laughs> because the thing is we have to realize this exclusive thing is not going away. You know, people want to say, no. okay, it's not. But I feel so, like we were so starting to steer away from no, exclusive content. No, we like were not. DLC. We were we were not at all. It is not going away. Um, would, they, would they rather it be a paid exclusive? People would complain as well, right? Like if or if it was like a paid DLC, people would complain. I'd rather be a time exclusive. 
I mean, uh, I would even love if, even that. Even if it's a year. I would, even if it's would, a year. Yeah, and I, I would love that. But the reality is these exclusive with these consoles aren't going away. Like, in a, a dream world, I would say, yes, I would love that to happen. But it's, it, I'm... I'm kind of tired of that being the news that it is an exclusive. It's like, yeah, we we know that these exclusives are going to come out. We know they already have a Spider-Man exclusive game to their consoles. It is not so much of a shock. Yes, it sucks, but it's not a shock. So I, I, I'm I, sorry. I, I agree. I understand where you're coming from and you're making good points. And I'm in the same position where it's like, I overall, I just want to be excited for this. Spider-Man's going to be in the Avengers game. This was something for me that I thought was a pipe dream for it to be, become a reality is like overall an exciting and awesome thing. And I've, I've been a big fan of the Avengers game. I've, I've been someone who has been looking forward to it since day one. Uh, very, very much looking forward to the game. And they, they put they put me in the in the war table, which is cool. Um, <laughs> not that that yeah, brings me any bias. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that brings me any bias. There have certainly been complaints and certainly have been things that yeah. I have brought up in terms of my issues with the game. Um, but overall, it's an exciting thing. Spider-Man is going to be in the Avengers game. That's yes. awesome. And like That's having awesome. Captain America and Thor and Hulk and you're all playing online with somebody as Spider-Man all working together. Like, hell yeah. That's going to be so cool. But it's just the idea that this is a multi-platform game. At least with the Spider-Man game, it was like from day one, this game is coming to PlayStation. With but Avengers, I, it's like everyone's going to be able to play. You, hey, you on Xbox, yeah. you're going to be able to play Avengers. You, you guys on PC, you're going to be able to play Avengers. When it comes out on the on the next gen, Series X, PlayStation 5, all that stuff, it, everyone's going to be able to play this game and, and, and play almost everything it has to offer. And I honestly thought when they announced that there was going to be exclusive PlayStation content way back at E3 – uh, that when they revealed it to be just like an emote and some extra currency when you get the game, that that was going to be it. I thought that that was honestly it. That's okay. You got a couple of random PlayStation exclusive stuff that nobody on planet Earth is really going to care about missing out on. But then they added Spider-Man. And again, it's just it's just one of those things where, you know, I don't know if I had an Xbox One right now and this game is coming out. I where else am I going to get it? besides xbox you know and well, and i feel like i shouldn't be it shouldn't be my fault as a consumer to have gotten right. xbox one from from launch and let that be my console of choice and you're to right. now almost essentially be suffering for it uh okay. so, so i don't then know I, so then i ask you and i ask alex and malik this as well do you guys think it should have been a paid dlc if you had to choose between paid dlc or exclusive to consoles I'm, take away the option of it just being available for everyone, okay? Because they're trying to make money here, right? Um, which one would you I'd choose? I say timed exclusive. I choose option C, hmm. timed exclusive. There is no option <laughs> C. <laughs> <laughs> I mean by like timed exclusive. So just like after a while, it comes out everywhere else? Well, yeah. Hmm. So like they, they have this with, um they have, PlayStation has this deal, I think, with like Call of Duty, where mm -hmm. Call of Duty will get like a new map or something like that. And it'll be out a month before it's available everywhere else. And so, obviously, with Spider-Man being as big as it is, they would probably want to hold the exclusivity for quite a while. So, I would be thinking, you know, at minimum, if you were to work on a timed exclusive deal, that it would be something like a year. And even then, like, yeah, it would suck. You have to wait a whole year to get it on Xbox. But at least, eventually, if you're playing on Xbox, you'll be able to play a Spider-Man. And I think that that would be the best route. Well, even if it is a timed exclusive and they haven't explicitly stated that... Right now, like you said, Spider-Man, one of the biggest IPs in the world. Right now is the perfect time for them to secure an exclusive like that. With, you know, the PS5 coming out holiday 2020, being able to say to your friends, you know, well, I'm getting it on the PlayStation 5 instead of the Xbox. I'll be playing Spider-Man and sending you, you know, all the videos. This would be a really good move for them. For consumers... It would be nice if it was only timed or if it was a paid content because I would be willing to spend the extra five, ten bucks for another, you know, hero rather than not being able to play or even having my friends miss out on it completely. I get that. Um, Prime in chat says pay DLC but open and to everyone. So yeah, pay DLC across all uh, platforms. Mm -hmm. And I think that's pretty much what chat is saying. And I can 
completely understand why they would prefer the paid DLC. But, you know, it would be interesting, though, because I'm trying to think, are there any Marvel properties that WB or, you know, that may not be with Marvel or Sony, right? Like, do you think we could see exclusives for other consoles in there? What if, what, okay, this is so far-fetched, but hear me Mm -hmm. out, okay? What if we get a cross of some DLC, like, DC characters, a DLC with DC characters in the Avengers universe. Imagine, just imagine, just imagine. <laughs> I know it's not going to happen. Trust me. No, I know that's it. a pipe dream. But <laughs> like that would be insane. Um, I do want to bring up though. Um, I think it was, yeah. Mufasa the third mentioned if destiny two could get cross play on all platforms, a game like this Avengers should have it too. And I, I, I feel like, Crossplay, they didn't come out right and say crossplay is not there, right? I feel like even if you have an exclusive character to a console, you could still have crossplay. We've seen it in other games. Yeah, but yeah. I feel <laughs> I feel like it would be a hell of a slap in the face <laughs> if they were to have crossplay in this not- game. Just imagine yeah. <laughs> your buddy on PlayStation is playing as Spider-Man while you're on Xbox, just literally looking at you as Spider-Man <laughs> while you're on Xbox. Like, hey. <laughs> I'm Spider-Man. Can you do that? If that's the case, I <laughs> hope that there's cross-play. I really hope. <laughs> We're gonna call up all of those friends just that did you wrong. Just yep. to rub oh it in. <laughs> yep. All my friends who yelled at me because I was playing Call of Duty and they had Halo, now's my time to rub it in if they have to cross-play. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's a complete waste. What do you think, Alex? Like, I feel like cross-play should be a thing. I think yeah. it should, yes. But yeah, yeah, ahead, I think Alex, it should. Yeah. But I, I don't know about adding in like the the DC characters. But I, I like the idea of cosplay. I feel like that would bring a lot of people together, which I think is maybe the point. <laughs> what do you guys think? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I mean, yeah. I want crossplay in the game. I want to be able to play with everyone, um, and that would, be, as a content creator, that would be the easiest <laughs> in order to play <laughs> with like, all the viewers well, and stuff. But yeah. And, and that's the thing. Prime mentions a good point. The difference between this and Destiny is Destiny is because Mufasa the third mentioned Destiny. Destiny right, is owned yeah. by Bungie and Bungie alone. Avengers is in multiple hands and won't be that simple. And that's why I don't think it is so far fetched out there. I know like we won't see DC anywhere near this game, but I don't think it's that far fetched to get console exclusives for this. Well, yeah, Um, I mean, especially because of Spider-Man on PS4, it looks like Marvel games in general. And even before they announced Spider-Man having PS4 exclusive content for the game, um, like there's like an exclusive emote and and stuff like that. It's it's miscellaneous stuff. But considering that there's already been announced PlayStation exclusive content, uh, it looks like just Marvel games in general has some sort of exclusivity tie with Sony and PlayStation. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Do you think we'll see that open up to other consoles? Like, I think because it's n- not all the Avengers are owned by Sony or uh, Marvel, no. right? So that's no. why I really do think there is a chance. I-, I think other people playing on other platforms, whether it is Stadia, um, <laughs> you, <laughs> Shutters. You, may, you, may, you may see exclusives coming to those platforms as well. I think it's still just a little bit too early to tell. I think... Um... I think that's probably not going to end up being the case in terms of the game, like having an exclusive character on Xbox or something. Uh, and, and I mainly think that because honestly, at the end of the day, Spider-Man being exclusive to PlayStation, uh, there are going to be a lot of people who are not a fan of it. Obviously, we have our own opinions about it. But at the end of the day, the the mass majority of people who are going to go out and play this game are probably going to be playing it on PlayStation um, mm-hmm. as that is like right now the uh, the highest selling console like between the the console wars. Okay. Um, and so like the way that I look at it is this is like for them, this is like a big win. This is yeah, a, like hell yeah for them, right? And also just in terms of the the partnership between Marvel Games and Sony, it's it's smart business. It it is like their games sell like crazy. Sony, they put out a tweet, they could put out a tweet like they were put out a new game about a guy who takes a dump. It'll sell two million copies, I guarantee you, because it's it's a PlayStation game. And it's just the yeah, it's just the climate. Um, yeah, yeah. You look at Spider Man. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Oh, no, I was saying it would be like Sony would make an exclusive version of Spider-Man taking a dump. Yes. I play that. <laughs> yes. Okay. I play, can you imagine him just taking a dump? And Two million copies like, sold. I guess. <laughs> he's out of toilet paper. He's like, oh, crap. I, toilet paper. I got a big like, sub. Oh, you just and gave them an bad. idea for a mobile game. That's, that's going to oh, a million God, downloads. There you go. <laughs> Copyright it right now. <laughs> that is sometimes, sometimes we'll have to wait for that. Maybe they'll show up in the Avenger games as a DLC. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, let's move. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I still think it's a little bit too early to tell, but uh, we'll see. Let us know what you guys think on our socials at Squad State. <laughs>